I won't stop till I hear him say Okay, what is going on CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. In today's video breakdown, I'm gonna be breaking down via technical analysis, a GBP JPY trade that I sent out to the CyberX students ahead of the curve. I'm also gonna show you all some screenshots from our CyberX GBP JPY private group chat showing you all that some of the other CyberX students were able to catch this trade as well. If you all enjoy intuitive video breakdowns like this, make sure that you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, take some notes, pull out a pen and paper and actually engage with what it is that I'm attempting to teach you all. Go back on a demo account, back test it. If anybody's interested in enrolling in our private mentorship program, that link is always in the description down below and you all can always reach out to me via our customer support email. With that being said, let's head over to the charts and break down this price action on GBP JPY. Why it was that I sent my technical analysis entries to the CyberX students ahead of the curve, why it was and what it was that I was looking at price action, giving you guys a logical reason as to how we approach the markets here at CyberX. It's going to be an in-depth breakdown on GBP JPY trade analysis I sent to you guys this morning prior to the trade execution, literally right when I entered it. Gave you guys my entry, gave you guys my stop loss, gave you guys my take profit area, still floating in the trade, roughly about 40 pips in profit, if I'm not mistaken, last time I measured it. We'll measure it right now. Um, like I told you guys, I don't send my analysis unless I'm like, you know, 95 to 98% sure that a trade's gonna go in our favor based off of logic. So I'm gonna go over that logic starting from the two hour time frame down. Now, remember we're scalpers, so our biases, we need to be able to adjust and react to the markets, which, which means that if we see this up and coming news come out, these fundamentals um, surrounding the Bank of English, Bank of English, Bank of England rate hikes come out, um, we need to be able to adjust that. And uh, obviously, of course, uh, change our bias and react to what the market makers are telling us. But based off of my price action analysis this morning and some things that I'm going to show you all, we were able to capitalize on a position that's still floating in profit and is just continuously rising. So let me share my screen with you guys. Hope that you all are doing well this morning. Um, we'll have kind of like an open discussion after um, after I do this video breakdown for you all, okay? So <clears throat> can you all see my screen okay? Trading views up. Yo. Yes. All right, so I sent the analysis to you all this morning, roughly at around five, I believe it was like maybe 15 or something like that. So somewhere in the beginning of New York session, I sent you guys my entry criteria. I even told you guys yesterday that I was bullish on GPP, JPY above 158,500 psychological level, which is all the way down here. Um, I'll get into that after this because I'm going to actually upload this to YouTube to save myself uh, creating a YouTube video today. Um, so... Um, I'll get into that after this to to go into more detail. But so we're going to start on the two hour time frame, showing you guys top down what it was that I was seeing in the market. Remember, you always want your higher time frame analysis to be in tandem with what, excuse me, direction you want to trade on the lower time frame. So if higher time frame analysis is bullish, then you want to be looking for buy positions on the lower time frame, and then vice versa, right? For sell positions, okay. So some of the things that I was looking at on the two hour chart, I try not to go above the two hour chart, um, mainly just because I am an intraday trader and I, I like those immediate price swings, right? I'm not looking for big swings in the market. However, this is for me a swing position that I'm going to seek to hold to see if we can come and attack these equal highs above here on the two hour chart, mainly because of this rate hike decision. It is, this is a high, um, high volatile trade, meaning that high impact news is definitely going to have a direct impact on the potential price swing that we could experience over the next two days. So we need to be mindful and pay attention to that. Right now, currently the trade is floating 50 pips in profit. So if you're a scalper and you caught this trade when I sent the signal, this would be a good time to move stops to break even and secure some profits, okay? Um, right, 50 pips in the market in a trade in a positive direction. If you're not taking profits, you're not scaling out of a position as a scalper, you're kind of being greedy, right? 
So first of all, higher time frame logical targets on the two hour was to come and attack all of the retail money that most likely is sitting above these highs. That's my logic for this long-term perspective target that I sent you guys of 161,500 being the first and 162, uh, I believe it was 100 for the second take profit target, okay? Mainly to come and clear out the retail resistance trend line liquidity. Second thing I was seeing, all right, was that we had a previous market break in structure and GBP JPY is currently bullish in my opinion it's still making higher highs and higher lows you all can see on the two hour time frame from that massive surge in price that we had all the way back here on january 17th we had that nice pullback down into this order block down here again we don't trade order blocks you could probably scale down into a position find a liquidity grab find where market makers injected money into the market and then broke previous market structure somewhere down here on the lower time frame where banking institutions came back added to that order and scaled price higher after that, we had a little bit of a sell-off. Now focusing on this current price action information, I was looking at this as a potential higher low in comparison to the previous low that broke a previous market structure here. So I was pretty much saying to myself, what leg I'm operating in on this two-hour time frame is this A to B move from A to B, breaking previous market structure. So as long as we're operating above these higher lows in the market in comparison to the previous, higher lows, and then in comparison to the previous higher lows, I am going to continuously take and seek to take buy positions on GBP JPY. All right. <clears throat> so this was my higher time frame analysis. And then not only that, if we were just looking at a Fibonacci extension from this A to B move, okay, I was looking at these intermediary lows in this Fibonacci sequence right here as potential liquidity areas. We have a liquidity area here, higher time frame, the market makers of internal liquidity could come and grab two and three all right so i was looking for price to come pull back down into 70 to 79 percent discount which we got which is exactly where my entry was at you guys can see from the analysis i sent you all my entry was at 159 uh 982 all right and that came in directly on the two hour time frame at 79 percent discount okay any confusion on my higher time frame analysis all righty now we're going to get into this blue level right here how i identified it utilizing the advanced tracking methodologies that i teach you guys okay down on the 15 minute chart so that way again showing you all my two hour time frame analysis is in tandem with my 15 minute then in tandem with my five minute and one minute entry no questions on the higher time frame analysis before i move down to the 15 minute all righty cool so now let's go down to the 15 minute you guys have my bullish perspective on the two hour chart I want to turn on the session indicators so that way you guys can see where specific previous sessions were buying from. Remember, when it comes to identifying previous areas of interest where the banking institutions bought or sold from and identifying them and then being potential buyers, if your higher time frame analysis is bullish, where previous banking institutions bought from, you're looking for a grab of liquidity, a higher low that came in after that grab of liquidity that leads to a market reversal or break of structure or the start of a trend, right? So on the two-hour chart, I told you guys that I'm operating inside of this A to B move, okay? On the two-hour chart, oops, excuse me. On the two-hour chart, that A to B move came in from here all the way up to this high here, breaking all of this previous market structure. So I went back a couple of previous New York sessions and I zoomed in and I said to myself, okay, well, where's the potential liquidity grab breaking market structure after creating a higher low in the market? And if you guys can see here where I highlighted my area of interest, where I took the trade from today, you guys can see that on January 24th, 2023, London session before the market rolled over into New York session, set up a liquidity trap so that New York session banking institutions could profit. You guys can see here, remember the banking institutions, they're working together, not against each other like everybody thinks it's to be. You guys can see here, London session, right before they rolled over in the manipulation window to New York, set a low. New York session violated that low, created the CyperX pattern where we see a equal match or match of bullish momentum, breaking previous market structure. And then that shift that we look for in the form of that institutionalized pattern where a higher low leading to a break in market structure comes in after the liquidity grab so you guys can see this is the pattern that i teach you guys to identify to be a potential buyer if your higher time frame uh, analysis is bullish okay so simply all i did on the 15 minute chart from the candlestick bodies 
down to the wick, highlighting that with the box tool and extending that over all the way to the right hand side and then waiting for price action to come back down into that specific area of interest and seeing how price reacts to it. Okay. And as you guys can see today, I entered a little bit early. I already showed you all on the higher time frame why I entered at 159982. It was when price was at 79% discount on the two hour time frame. So that's why I entered early. But you guys can see now on the 15 minute chart, price came straight down into that discounted area during New York session where previous banking institutions bought from. And they bought a price at a discount from where they previously bought from a couple of sessions before, which is now solidifying the methodologies here in the CypherX community. Okay. So all in all, I'm going to scale down to the lower time frame um, to give you guys a more in-depth perspective from a scalper's trading point of view. However, I took this trade simply just off the two hour and 15 minute um analysis okay i did not scale down lower time frame to catch this trade at least my specific entry like some other individuals did like justin uh over i think i saw that you um uh posted a trade analysis in the group chat there's some other individuals as well so kudos to you guys for catching this trade today my targets are the prior sellers to new york session or the pre-sellers to new york session right now for these scout positions immediately and then I'm looking for all of this trend line liquidity to potentially come and get taken if we do see a market continuation towards the rest of New York session into the Asia session rollover. All right. Again, like I said to you guys, um, beautiful trade analysis. I will cut the video for YouTube here short, and then I will continue to go down the rabbit hole via our CyberX 3.0 content and jumping down to the lower time frame. So any of you YouTube um, watchers and viewers, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel. We do appreciate the love and the support. With that being said, be cognizant, be aware, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video breakdown. All right, cool. Now that that's out of the way. Um, all right, so <clears throat> let's break down the lower time frame. Now that you guys have my two-hour analysis, 15-minute analysis, would anybody like to pause me here off the two-hour and 15-minute analysis and ask questions? If you guys have any, let me know now. All right, sweet. Can you, can, oh, go can ahead. you just go super quick over the blue box because I was at work and I just logged in. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> just okay, so. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.